Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for me to introduce to you FTW Craft Bomb for Glory series. <sighs> it's happening. It's happening, everybody. Finally, some PvP battles here on the FTW Craft server. <sighs> Yeah, I could hear it. I could hear all those applauses. I could hear all of those cheers. We're finally going to do it. So, let's go over the basic concept, shall we? FTW Craft Bound for Glory series uh, takes its name from Impact TNA. They have a Bound for Glory series. Uh, this year, it changed from the format that we had been used to. Uh, it used to be a round-robin tournament uh, where everyone had equal opportunities, but instead, it wasn't quite like that. Instead, it was more of like a random thing, so it was hard to tell who uh, was going to get the most amount of matches. It wasn't equal at all. You just had uh, you just had a couple matches this week, a couple matches ne next week. Jeff Hardy was in a majority of them. Uh, that's just how it worked out. So this is going to be kind of the same type of concept. Um, if you are familiar with Mindcrack, uh, which I know, uh, I know, I know all of you have. You're 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 all, you're all familiar with Mindcrack, uh, with the concept of the death games. This is this is pretty much the death games. Uh, we didn't really change any any major thing from it. Um, even even the build was based on an Ethos Lab build. So, uh, but the concept here is for the last week, week and a half, uh, everyone has been uh, placing their swords in this chest. And let's go ahead and open up. And actually, before I get started, let's go ahead and check out the info. So info BFG series. We'll check out the first one. So, uh, real, real brief, FTW Craft Bound for Glory series is a 24-7 game that will last for 30 days. It will officially start on Saturday, March 1st, 2014. Player kills. Following these nine guidelines is what will be tracked. One, in front of the FTW Arena, the BFG se series building sits housing four chests, one for active players, which is attached to a redstone-powered randomizer, one to display the active player for the day, one for the entry, uh, which will be removed, one for game-approved gear, and uh, that's a lot. Hold on. These are way, way too many. <laughs> uh, one for active players, which will be attached to uh, redstone. Redstone and Hopper system. That's that's what this is right here. Uh, you can open that up and see who is active for the day. Uh, we've also oops, we've also got uh, a chest in the center, which is where the entry is. This is this is going to be removed tonight. But to enter, uh, you can just f put in a sword with your name etched in. And we've also got this chest on the side, which is just for random drops uh, or storing some stuff if you want to store stuff. Uh, and then we also have the game approved armor, which is in here. Game approved armor and and weapons. All right, number two, you can only use the game approved gear, aka weapons and armor, so that everyone is on the same playing field. There are three sets available, which include full red leather armor, a battle axe, and an infinity bow. Feel free to take an arrow if you need one. So let's go check that out. We've got uh, arrows all along if you need an arrow to, to go along with your Infinity Bill. And it's a pretty epically sweet bow. Uh, Infinity 1, Punch 1, Power 3. Uh, all all bows are, are the same. All weapons are the same. So uh, it's really, really slick. The Bad Lax, Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 5, uh, which is epic and then you've got your leather caps and tunics and pants and, and boots and they're all stained red which is really cool so yeah, basically if you if you see someone walking with this uh you're gonna know that they're coming after you or they're coming after whoever is the active person because no one is wearing this in the game <laughs> well except for blue and i 
I think we're the only ones that, that have been donning the leather stuff lately. All right. Let's go to Info BFG Series 2. Nope, I spelled it wrong. Info BFG Series 2. All right, here we go. Number three. You must wear your game-approved armor at all times if you are actively pursuing the active player. No bait and switches. Same goes with weapons. You can not carry or use other weapons in combat within the realms of the FTW Craft BFG series. Real quick, just to explain that. If you are ready to play the game, you look in the active chest and the active player is online and you want to go kill them, you've got to put on the armor. You've got to put on the armor. You can drop your stuff in the in the chest that is in in this in this area. You know, we we I think we can trust each other that we can you can put uh you you can put items in this chest over here and not have it uh ha not have it taken. Okay. Uh number 4. Every day between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m., Garvin, which is, which is me, uh, or someone else that I have assigned for the day, will push the button to start the randomizer, and a new active player will be named. So basically, all, all these all these swords that are in here, and we'll take three, and we'll put them in the active chest. So we've got uh, Diva Jill, Blue, and Nick. Uh, every day, I'm going to click a button. This button right here, and it's gonna randomize who who is in here. So, I think that cleared it. So we'll see the active player right now would be Nick, who is Atomic Deke. That would be the active player of the day. Uh, I would I would come here the next day, click the button, and see that the next person is Blue Cactor. So that's the basic gist. Every day I'm going to do that. Sure, I could have put. <clears throat> I I could have put. Uh, oops, here we go. Yeah, I I could have put some kind of like day timer or server related redstone, but I I didn't want to do it. I think it'd be fine to just have someone come in here and do it once a day. That's perfectly fine. Uh, so that's number four. Number five, if you don't want to be active that day, then push the button to remo remove your name from the active list. Uh, try not to make a habit of it, as this is all in fun. You can also easily remove your name from the active chest once you've been killed. Uh, keep in mind that if, you, that if you took gear and are waiting for them... Uh, hold on. Oh, if you took gear and you're waiting for someone to come on, they do have the ability to remove themselves from the game. So better double check the active chest before heading out. Uh, so what, what that all means, there's, there's a couple different things here. One, if you've been killed once and there's seven active people in the game, or you know, there's, there's seven people playing, you're the active person and you've already been killed once, you can go ahead and push the button. <laughs> I don't want to be killed anymore. That sort of thing. That's totally fine. Um, and yeah, so you can also come on and say you're only going to be on for a few hours. You know you're not going to be on for the rest of the day. Um, on those few hours, you don't want to be uh, attacked like you're in the middle of a, a big project of some sort. You can go ahead and push the button and remove yourself from the active list for that day. That is totally cool. Uh, just don't make a habit of it. I mean, if, you, if you're constantly taking yourself away from the game and not making yourself active so that you never get killed, um, it kind of defeats the purpose. You know, there's always one target every single day. Uh, it's fine for you to be the target sometimes. All right, number six, because gear will be in limited supply, you cannot keep it. Do not sign off with it. Always take it back to the building and place it into the chest. And if you damage it behind... The halfway point, which is going to be pretty much instantly <laughs> with leather, uh, especially if the person defends themselves, uh, you, you've got to repair it. Don't leave half half beaten up gear 
Uh, yeah, don't for the next guy. Just go ahead and repair it. There's a repair uh, anvil in the uh, in, in the market square. So just go ahead and do that. Number seven. You can only kill a player once per day. So if you succeeded, take your gear back and move on. This is, uh, you know, it's, it's, this goes back. We don't want this to turn into a trolling game. Dave Chats, Lynch Clinch, talking directly to you guys. We, we don't want this to be a, all right, Dave goes and kills the Lynch Clinch because Lynch Clinch is active. So Lynch Clinch hits the back button so that he can come pick up his gear and Dave Chats uh hits him again. That's not what we want. We don't we don't want that. Uh we would we would you know what once, once you kill uh the Lynch Clinch once that day, uh just move on. There's gonna be other active players that are gonna want to do it, and we don't want to irritate each other. This is all in fun, uh, and we want we want to keep it that way. So Info BFG series three, and I think this is the last. All right, so the last uh, number eight. It is up to the active player to remove themselves from the game. If you don't go back to spawn to take your name out of the chest, you could have a long day ahead of you. So again, it looked like there was about seven or eight swords there, meaning one is going to be the active target for that day. It is up for that. It is up to that target to remove themselves from it if they no longer want to play. Uh, for the day, at least. So, you know, if Dave kills the Lynch Clinch, and then while the Lynch Clinch is picking up his stuff, I come over and I kill the Lynch Clinch, that's totally fair, okay? However, you know, that could... There's there's many a times, especially on weekends, where we're all on at the same time, it seems. That would be a long hour, two hours, if, if you're just getting constantly killed. So... You know, it's, it's totally up to you. You know, it's not going to be, it, it, it's up to you. If you want to stay in it and continue to defend yourself and be killed, that's cool. That makes this all the funner for all of us. However, if you, if you're getting irritated or you just want to move on and, and, and do something else for this game, uh, for that day, you just remove yourself. It's up to you. It's not up to anyone else. You don't, you can't ask for truces. Just get yourself out of the game. All right, number nine is so the final guideline for a kill to be counted. And this is this is really important, so listen up. For a kill to be counted, a video or screenshot must be taken at the time of the killing. The screenshot or video should show the chat, which will say who made the kill and that they used a game-approved weapon. Uh, that game-approved weapon will say FTW Battle Axe, so... The Lynch Clinch slain by Dave Chats with the FTW Battle Axe or the FTW Battle Bow. That's what we want. We want in the chat it to say that information. Uh, yeah, we want we want it to say that that information and just to you know make it valid. And what we also want to do. <laughs> This is Tom. Maybe he's going to sign up too. Uh, so what we also want to do is we just want to make sure that we're we're actively promoting this and uh, you know making it known who's getting all the kills. So we want to keep track of this. The easiest way to do it is for all of us to report it. So screenshots. If you're not taking video, take screenshots. If you're taking video, I want to see the kill. <laughs> So start filming, man. Uh, bandy cam or whatever you want to use, and uh, let's have fun with it. We'll we'll put these up on the YouTube channel, or you can, if you got your own YouTube channel, uh, start it there too. Post it on the website. We'll just keep track of it there. I think that that'd be cool overall. Uh, so yeah, and, and 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 again, this all goes to, you know, if if no if no screenshot is taken, then it doesn't count. So you, you've just been a dick for no reason, basically. So we don't want that. Take a screenshot, show the chat, show that you did it, uh, in you know within the guidelines of the game, and then it'll go again. It'll go towards your score. Uh, and yes, the active player can defend themselves by any means necessary. That's another point. 
uh, to to make known. If you're if you're here uh, to kill, and like if I'm here to kill Tom, Tom is not just gonna accept it. Tom has every right to attack me uh, by any means necessary. If he's got enchanted diamond stuff, he can he can very well use it. That's up to him. All right. So, uh, how to join. To join the game, place an iron sword with your name etched in it in the chest that sits in the center of the BFG series building. You have until the end of Friday, February 28th, which is the day we're recording this right now. Uh, you also must pay a fee of one diamond in person to me. So, I don't know when we'll do that fee, just because I kind of have to wait till everyone to get online, but... Uh, I think the fee will be nice, and the winner of the FTW Craft BFG series will receive that diamond. So, yeah, overall, let's go ahead and uh, put the rest of these swords into the random chest, the randomizer chest. We'll go ahead and click the button. We'll see if Tom's going to join. But, yeah, overall, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, I think what we'll do right now, because we're waiting on Tom, there's a few other people on the server that have not uh, put their names in it yet. One is Scott Viper. Uh, he he has said he didn't want to take part, which is totally cool. Instant Rice hasn't been on the server in a while, so which is totally cool. Um I want to say, you know, I should have looked at all those names to to kind of go back, but I think Dave Chats actually said he wasn't going to play. I can't remember. Let's uh, let's actually go into the chest. Uh, we'll take out Joe and Nick. Well, we're going to take a look at all these before we get started, just to just to get an idea of who's playing. We should have done this before. I apologize. All right, so we've got uh, myself, Blue Cactour, Nick, and Joe. Uh, Diva Jill. And, oh, Dave Chats is not it. Let's go ahead and click it one more time. Yeah, that's the empty sound. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six people. Tom just said in the chat uh, he can do it, which is cool. And uh, yeah, overall, Cat Lady eighty was out. She did not want to play this time around. Um, also, I don't think Judas, uh, who is JC underscore Corpse Grinder, uh, I don't think he wanted to play either. But what we're going to do is we're going to put these back. Uh, it is about 7:45 Eastern uh, time at night. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna hold off uh, to reveal who is the first active player starting tomorrow at eight o'clock. We're gonna do the randomizer tonight to determine who who that player is gonna be. So, stay tuned for that. All right, we are here. This is uh, two hours. Two hours after the last time we were on here on the FTW Craft server. Uh, we've got that one guy, Tom. Um, also, the Lynch Clinch was on for a little bit, and they've both inserted themselves into the series. So now we have a total of eight. Dave Chats, Diva Jill, myself, Blue Cactor, Atomic Deek, Joe, Lynch Clinch, and that one guy, Tom. So we still have another uh, another half hour or so. I'm going to give them another half hour to pop on, put their name in. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and put them into the active chest and find out who is the first target of Season 1 of FTW BFG Series. Stay tuned. All right, here we are outside of the FTW Craft Bound for Glory series informational building. It is time to determine who 
who is the active, the first active. I've already taken down all of the the entry names. We had eight total, so that chest is now gone. I'm going to go ahead and click the button. We're going to determine who is the very first active player starting tomorrow morning, March 1st at 8 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to click the button. My hope is it's Joe because he deserves it. But we'll see. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Deep breaths. Here we go. First active player is Diva Jill. Feel free to kill Diva Jill as soon as she comes out. Let the games begin. <laughs> this should be awesome. Bam! 